Howdy folks. I just got back from my test ride of the Big Sur and I can't wait to show you how it was. But first, let's go over how it works. So as you can probably tell, this is a big boy. No, I'm not five feet tall. This thing's like three and a half feet tall. These tires are huge. It can handle gravel, dirt, trails, beach. You can see these big old shocks on the front. As I said, probably a good trail rider. Oh yeah, look at that. We got this rack, max 27 kilograms. I like a good rack for lugging stuff around. I feel like that's part of the beach lifestyle, you know? You put a milk crate on the back of this. Putting, I don't know, I don't know, what do beach people put in there? Crates, chihuahuas, volleyball, surf wax. So we've got this nice, beautiful screen. It's pretty bright. Single button on this screen will change the range, the cadence, the time, your trip time, I guess, the trip miles, the odometer. It shows you the percentage of the battery as well as the time. It's also got five pedal assist modes from zero to five. It's got our light here. It's got this throttle here. As you can see, it functions. Also, a horn. We got classic speed levers up and down shifting. Looks like there's eight speeds. Disc brakes on the front and the back. A hub motor. Oh, and we mustn't forget the battery. That's very important. It's removable, which we love. We love a removable battery because then you can take it inside to charge it. You have to take the whole bike inside. Housed right here. We're gonna turn the bike off before we start disconnecting stuff. There we go. And the battery is locked in with a key. So if you do leave it outside, no enterprising individuals can come and steal your battery. Just flip it. It's unlocked. It pops out with a push of a button. There she is. You know, hefty like a battery should be, but still light. If you gotta shove it in your backpack, it's not gonna, you know, break your spine or nothing. And then you just go charge it. And it's charged, you come back, pop that bad boy in there. Ding. Satisfying click, lock it in place, and you're good to go. We talked about everything you wanna see, but we haven't done the most important part, which is ride the thing, which I know you're waiting with bated breath for. Luckily, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna do our little test ride course. We're gonna take it through all the paces. We're gonna go on flat roads, you know, a more uh, corporate business class area, and some trails, which I know this baby will excel at, so. Come on, let's go sweat. I, didn't, I had it in, I had it in zero. There we go. Whee! We're gonna start at the bottom. No pedal assist, nothing, everything off, just pedal it like a bike. I don't know why anyone would want this, but for science, I'll test it for you. So here we go. All right, we got our gears here. First gear, second. You know, it's actually not bad just as a bike. All right, that's enough acoustic biking. Like Bob Dylan before me, it's time to go electric. Pedal assist one. All right. That gave me some zoom. 10 miles an hour. Pop these up. Pedal assist is not speed, just how much it is assisting you, which makes sense. I guess when we go to pedal assist five, yeah. You barely gotta turn that thing and that thing kicks into full motor mode. All right, I got, uh, I got this thing on like sixth gear, pedal assist two, and this feels like a nice little compromise where, you know, I'm working a little bit with my legs, but the motor's still doing most of the work, and I'm keeping my wattage low. It's got this wattage symbol on the right, this wattage meter on the right that tells you exactly how much wattage you're using. If I use the accelerator, the throttle, and that thing jumps right up, a thousand watts right away, but if you pedal, you can keep that thing about 300, 500. Save your battery life quite a bit. And without working too hard. All right, so here we are at the office park. You know, we just get a little role play. And then I'm coming to my real job. I'm wearing my blazer because I'm trying to impress Kathy at the front desk. And my car is awful. I got a terrible car. I can't let her see me driving that. But this guy, I show up on a Big Sur, you know I'm standing up. Kathy, <laughs> yeah, just got it, it's electric. Do a quick bunny hop. Oh yeah, she's gonna talk to me at the Christmas party this year for sure. 
I love how responsive this thing is. Some of these you hit the accelerator and you gotta wait two to five business days before it actually kicks in, but this is immediate. You almost forget. Not to mention these shocks. Yeah, I'm loving this thing. Later, suckers! Well, my prediction was correct. This thing just absolutely dominates off-road. This is a trail riding beast. And I also took it through some residential areas, an office park area, more flat ground stuff. And it handled that pretty good too. But uh, enough about my emotional reaction. Let's read some numbers. Let's go to the website and see what they say about this thing. All right, so I've found the website, aimatech.us. This is the manufacturer of the Big Sur. AIMA e-bike is proud to present the Big Sur, our first e-bike model. Oh, it's their very first one. Inspired by the rugged terrain and sweeping vistas of California's Big Sur coastline, infused with a deep appreciation for the beauty of the natural world and a commitment to cutting edge engineering. Crafted with a meticulous attention to detail, AIMA e-bike is designed in California and manufactured in the world's largest e-bike factory, Big Sur Matte Black. Retails for $17.99. That's pretty good. Big Sur is a 26 inch by four inch fat tire e-bike with 750 watt powerful Bafang motor. Capital B, Bafang, it's a brand name I guess. So it's a class two slash three e-bike. Its speed can go up to 20 miles per hour on throttle and is 28 miles per hour on PAS mode, so pedal assist mode. So 28 miles per hour is good. If you're riding through the neighborhood or you're riding on trails, I mean, shoot. If you're riding faster than 28 miles per hour on trails, you're, you should be sponsored by Red Bull. Removable lithium ion 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery with LG cells. It's got a torque sensor, five levels of pedal assist. It's got a 48 volt, three amp fast charger. So it's about five hours for charging. Up to 60 mile range, mm, pretty good. So it's got a specially designed big headlight and big rotor along with the LG 21700 big battery cells to make Big Sur one of the safest e-bikes. That big saddle is my favorite. I got a bony butt, I'll tell you right now. I'll admit it to you because you're my friends. I got a bony butt. Weight limit, 400 pounds. That's the highest weight limit I've ever seen on any e-bike. They're not messing around with the Big Sur. If you're a Big Sur, you could fit on the Big Sur. This thing has all the features you would want in an e-bike. This is why you get an e-bike. The Big Sur has definitely thought about what do people want in an e-bike and they have included it. So thank you for sending us the Big Sur. It was a great pleasure to ride and I hope that you got something out of this video. I hope that you were well informed and I hope that you now know if a Big Sur is right for you. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. We got plenty more videos. We've done a ton of them and we're gonna do a ton more in the future. So keep it tuned right here. Make sure you subscribe and make sure to check out Electrified News if you wanna stay up to date with all the latest and greatest in the Electrify world. We have a lot of people working very hard to bring you all of the news that you are craving. So go to electrifiednews.com and thank you for joining us. Goodbye.